I met the um, who was it? All right, let me start again. All right. Well, so I went to an event the other night and I met um, Dimer Braun. Dimer Braun. Here's his business card. He is. Look at that. It inverts it backwards. Interesting. So he is the World Bank Institute Learning Technologies Manager. Okay, so at the event, basically, you probably saw my videos, we had to pitch. So I knew World Bank people were there. So I had options, right? I could have pitched Wikitube. I could have pitched India Verified. I could have pitched FoundUps, okay? What I chose to do was do a little pitch on Eduit because e-singularity and education has to be an important factor to the World Bank. So of all of my startups or found ups, right, I figured. So at the end of it, I'm walking around and I go up to this guy and I start talking, you know, and he's just smiling away. He's a really charming gentleman, just smiling and listening. And he's like, Bree, you know, it's like, he goes, <laughs> and he laughs, he says, do you know who I am? You know, and the other guy is quiet. And the other guy, by the way, was in charge of, um, and I can't remember the company, but uh, it's a big IT company here. Um, oh, Booz Allen. So he's in charge of Booz Allen Entrepreneur Investing, right? For not actually for social causes. So they're both having a conversation. So I just happened up on them. And, um, so I'm talking, he goes, you know, let me give you my card. And I said, and he goes, I don't give my card out to anyone. And let me tell you, I tell my staff never to email me because I don't like emails, right? But I am telling you, I was impressed by what you said and that I want an email from you. I want this, you know, six bullets, you know, six bullets, what it is that you're doing, right? And send it to me. So... What I'm going to do is actually, instead of posting it, I'm going to basically read what I wrote, okay? And you tell me. So he wanted to learn about the E-Prize. So the E-Prize for the, for the development of autonomous learning software. Hey, guys. Yeah, I'm kind of informal that way. It was a pleasure meeting you both. In 2001, I asked myself, how could we eradicate illiteracy and provide $2 billion with an eighth grade education? In 2004, I figured out the solution and try to stealth mode it to some investors. In 2006, I tried to get some top US education companies like Kariki and Educause behind it. In 2008, after failing to get uh, a Japanese company to buy into the idea, I decided to go public and I established the E3O group on LinkedIn. And in January 2009, the answer came to me. It was simple. We copy the X Prize and establish the E Singularity Prize for, or the X Prize for short, for the development of autonomous learning software for education. Solutions that, for example, will allow the iPhone app to self run and deliver content somewhat intelligently to a two year old um, for education purposes. So, what's the E Prize? Well, the E Prize is a private government partnership. The goal is to create a cash incentive for a global community of developers to develop FOSS, which stands for free and open source solution software platforms that will help complement teachers where there are schools and supplement for teachers where there are no schools, right? Or where there are none. Okay. The platform will autonomous, autonomously teach a two-year-old to an eighth grade equivalent in math, science, and language arts. That's the beta. Okay. So key points include the software will be built mainly on open, free open source software, FOSS. It will use open education resources. All content will be community created and delivered. Only existing modules, uh, use existing models, not modules, models, okay? Wikipedia, Moodle, Curriki, and Khan Academy, right? So, the prize, 
the prize is for building the platform, not the content. Okay, the prize is for building the platform, not the content. See, everyone gets hung up on what I'm doing is thinking I'm building content, right? It's not, we're building the platform, and let me explain. This is a very important distinction that removes the silly pedagogical argument, right? How are you gonna teach? What methods, what methodology? This is what educators wanna get all wrapped up in, right? The TV did not define the content, right? The content came later. It's the same idea. The platform is not going to define the content, right? The TV, and I wrote here, the TV has pretty much stayed the same for the last 50 years. It's a screen, it delivers content, right? An autonomous learning, uh, autonomous learning software is basically doing the same thing. As an educator, I will define what inputs I choose. So I can actually use many pedagogical uh, methodologies. Pedagogical is that basically that PhD term for teaching strategies. It's like it's one of those attempts by using a big term to basically control a space, right? That's all it is. Um, so how would the fund be established? We would escrow the fund and use a very small percent of the interest it generate it generate it generates, right? to administer and promote the prize, the E-Prize, e okay? It'd be, and so it'd be a six-year term, 2017. At the end of the, excuse me, the term, the fund, the fund investors can take their money out with their interest. I'll say, you know what, this is shit, this ain't working. I'm taking my money out with my interest, right? Because right now it's sitting in a bank, all right? And opt, or opt to remove for three more years. By Awarding the prize, the fund gets exclusive rights to IP and will use the technology to develop E3O solutions for business and private education market. The, the percentage invested dictates the percentage of return. So if a $100 million prize is established and World Bank invests 50%, of the fund, then 50% of the profits from you know developed IP would return to the World Bank. It's simple. So, $10 million prize, someone puts in 10 million, they're getting 100%. So the IP goes to them. The kickoff, we need a seed investor, right? A seed investor and name behind it. And I put Virgin Learning. By the way, if you go to virginlearning.com, it goes to Eduit. I picked it up just tonight. I'm always about picking up some domains. So Virgin Learning, so you'll like this. A dyslexic solution for global education built and funded by dyslexics of the world to help fix a global education crisis. I'm gonna say it again because I really love it. Virgin Learning, a dyslexics solution for global education built and funded by dyslexics by dyslexics of the world to help and fix a global education crisis. Thought you'd like it. So the leadership, we need someone passionate um, and one intimately and one that intimately knows and been researching this space for 10 years. Um, maybe someone who like Establish the E3O group on LinkedIn um, or, and define the term Education 3.0. Well, I'm defining it differently than everyone else, okay? It's been defined, but their definition is stupid. I'm running out of time here. I'm going to have to do this again and try to do it quicker. Um, or maybe I'll just do another two. I'll probably just do another one. Um, someone who founded the fledgling e singularity movement on Facebook. I wonder who that is. You know, someone who founded TEDx Future Ed group on Facebook with the goal to prom use it to promote East Singularity Vision. I've founded a group. I haven't done much with it. Um, currently working on a book called The East Singularity is Coming. Will you be ready, right? Um, there's only one thing holding up East Singularity. And I'm going to talk about that next. What is that one thing holding it up? What do you think it is? You tell me. What it is? Okay. I'm hearing answers right now. Okay. What's your answer? I can't hear you. Say it louder. <laughs> 